right, I will call the plan commission to order. Um, I'll call the roll. Mayor Sorensen is present. Trey? Here. Ryan? Here. Uh, Marilyn Montemayor? Here. And Ryan Sesma. Oh, I said that already. And uh, Chad? Here. All right, Dave Hoffman, maybe he'll be coming here soon. Jerry Jones excused, John Matushka excused. For everyone in attendance, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Is there a motion to approve the minutes from our previous meeting? There's been a motion second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of approving the minutes, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. The minutes are approved. Without objection, we're going to move up 3.4. Um, resolution number uh, 92122 by Elder Persons Mitchell and Perella, approving the capital improvements program as recommended by the Capital Improvements Commission in the program period of 2022 through 2026 and adopting the program for implementation and I'll call on city administrator Wolf. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. I, I just wanted to kind of present to everybody the, this year for, for our capital improvements, we did a little bit of a different process. We went through and really focused on the strategic plan. When I met with all of the different departments, we basically tried to better understand what our, what our needs were and what our wants were. And we also developed that into our actual, um, our future borrowing. So when we did this, we also only wanted to really talk about the 2022 for capital improvements. We did talk about what the future projects are, but because those change on a consistent basis, we really did our focus on 2022 with the presentations. So every single department has gone through it. Every committee has, uh, has reviewed and approved it. I've been told by multiple um, alders and committee members that this process was a much more fluid and appreciated process because instead of me giving the, the committee 50 different projects to choose from and see who likes what, we really just did brass tacks and said, this is what we need, this is why we need it, and here's the priority. In the future, we're gonna have what's called an EAM project, uh, program module that'll be helping us to actually analyze and collect data. So we'll be able to actually bring better data to the committees, capital improvements and, and such, to be able to actually prove why, um, why certain things are prioritized. And I think that's a better use of uh, resources, timing um, and, and funding uh, being a good steward. So if there's any questions on the capital improvements plan for 2022, um, I'm here for you. Are there any questions for Administrator Wolf regarding the capital improvements plan? All right, is there a motion to accept and send to the council? I make a motion to approve and, and send to the council. I will second that. There's a motion by Ryan, second by Marilyn. Further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. Thank you for your support. Thank you. All right, back to our regular scheduled program, 3.1. Application for conditional use with exceptions by RLL Signs Incorporated to install new signage at Radiant Dental Care located at 2905 South 12th Street. Um, Steve? Thanks, Mayor. Um, Patrick Lamont is here from RLO Sign who's representing Radiant Dental uh, Care. Um, I can't think of... Is Karen, I can't remember Karen's last name, but she just recently purchased um, Radiant Dental Care. It had been a, uh, a dentist for a number of years, previous owner, um, taking a look at some different signage options. And what they came up with was the freestanding sign that you see before you. Um, they believe that this sign will allow for uh, more people to actually see it as they would drive north and south down South 12th Street and being at the intersection of Wilson and uh, the signalized intersection at Wilson and 12th Street. So what basically they're taking a look at is a, a post and panel sign, which is um, a high density foam with sandblasted relief. So there's, uh, it's a, a nice quality sign. 
and they're looking to uh, uh, advertise the dentist to all the people that visit the Early Learning Center and the high school and, and want some more visibility compared to what they have on the present wall. Sign itself is about 13 square feet, stands about four and a half feet tall, and is approximately 20 foot setback to the curb. There is a variance request. The variance is uh, typically the, the signs are to be 24 feet from the curb, but if it was 24 feet from the curb, it would be basically be in that sidewalk area. Um, you can see there's quite a bit of green space between the back of the curb, then you have the sidewalk, so the, the sign itself isn't going to impact anyone from a location perspective. So staff was recommending approval of the sign as proposed subject to the conditions. And I can help uh, answer any questions and the applicants here. Um, any questions or anything that you'd like to add or? Questions or motions? I'll make a motion to approve along with the staff recommendations. I will second that. Motion by Ryan, second by Marilyn. Further comments? All those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That's approved. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 3.2 application for conditional use with exceptions by uh, Randley Insurance Agency to install new signage at their office located at 502 North 14th Street. Steve? Thanks, Mayor. Um, Noah Brandle is here. Uh, Noah and his father, Russell Brandle, are the owners of the site, as well as Daniel Severance is here, who's a neighbor who I think is just interested to hear what uh, is being proposed. So the Brandles had purchased this um, structure at 2000, uh, in 2014. It's located at 502 North 14th Street. So this is right at the north um, west corner of 14th and Pennsylvania Avenue. So anytime you're driving up to 14th on Penn, you're looking straight at it. Um, they've invested a significant amount of money to uh, uh, re, uh, redo the interior and the exterior. They added the windows that you can see on the pictures. There's a, a entrance ramp and patio in the back. They've done quite a bit, you know, significant amount of uh, remodeling of the structure. So now they're, they've been there in a little while and now they're looking to install some signage. And the reason they're here today is because they're requesting three signs and in the neighborhood commercial district, you can typically have two wall signs. What the reason why they're asking for that is you can see on the east side, they want to take advantage of uh, the location and how many ways the particular building is viewed from, from Pennsylvania Avenue and then both on north and south on, on um, uh, North 14th Street. The overall amount of square footage is only 42 square feet, so they are allowed quite a bit over that. And with the three signs, uh, the east sign's a little smaller at 12 square feet, and then the north side and south side are at 15 square feet. And they would have gooseneck style lighting where the X's are above the signs to, to light up the sign, so it's not interior lit. They would have that gooseneck lighting, which would be another additional uh, feature. They're nice signs. Um, aluminum alloy have multiple different layers and depth with lettering of the logo, so it's just not a flat panel sign. It's a, an attractive sign. So staff was recommending approval subject to the conditions and the applicants here as well, as well as the neighbor. Any additional things that you'd like to add or? Yeah, I couldn't have summed it up any better. Really Do you want to come to the, um, the mic? The oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, no worries. Yeah, I couldn't, have, I couldn't have summed it up much better myself, Steve, um, so thank you for that. The, as for the three sides, we just, you know, that intersection is very busy and we want to take advantage of just everybody being able to see it from all sides. Not only that, but if you look at what the building looks like now, I didn't include pictures of that here. I just include this, included the superimposed signs. I think it looks actually a lot nicer with the signs and I think having them on those three sides just improves the general curb appeal of the building and lets people know what it's there for. But uh, that's about all we got. Yeah. Thank you. Any Additional comments or motions? Oh, neighbors here, yeah. Hello, I'm Daniel Severance. I live on the, um, Penn Avenue, but I live west of the insurance office. 
And it's amazing what his dad did to that place. So I lived there about 15 years before that. And I took pictures of it when he was doing the whole gutting inside and electrical, everything, amazing work. And um, it needs a little tender loving care. And he, he made it to an insurance office, you know, and then a rental upstairs. But he did such improvement in that corner. It's, and then the signs here is, like his son was saying, it's pretty busy traffic pass. So it's nice to have a little bigger sign and light up at night. So it'd be nice for him and for people to know that the insurance office there is. But um, I got no complaints. I, I'm hoping his business gets better, you know, and I'm sure his business is really good, but it's, he did such improvement. So at that, I'll pass. Thank you. Thank you. Any additional comments or motions? I move to approve. That building sure does look good. Thank you. I'll second it. Motion by Marilyn, second by Ryan. Further comments? Seeing none, all those in favor of approving, uh, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Sure vote side. That's approved. 3.3 application for conditional use with exceptions by Brandy and Nicole. Nicholas Conway to operate Millie's Deli and Sandwich Shop at 522 South Pier Drive. Thanks. Steve? Thanks, Mayor. Um, I guess there's no one representing the applicants here for this one. I can go through this if you'd like, and the Plan Commission can uh, decide if they would want to approve it without the applicant being here. Um, basically, and, and We've talked to them a number of times, let them know about the meeting so they're familiar with that. Um, so Brandy and Nicholas Conway own uh, and operate Millie's Deli and Sandwich Shop um, in uh, Keel. And they are taking a look at 522 South Pier Drive. And um, 522 South Pier Drive is the property uh, that has, an, uh, it's a uh, multiple condos uh, first floor has Anglers Avenue in, in the far east one and then residential on top. So this is about, it's a little bit more on the uh, west side and they're looking to open, open up Millie's Deli, which is a New York style sandwich shop. Uh, limited seating, carry out catering options to the South Pier and they provide customers a, a variety of sandwiches, soups, bread bowls, desserts. They're looking to have seating for approximately 20 people, deli coolers, soup, uh, soup warmers, uh, it really to really kind of have a, a, a deli that they would explain as almost like your grocery store deli. Um, however, New York deli is mainly where you get uh, the best sandwiches made with boar's head meat and not just sandwiches, but stacked high full of meat and fresh veggies. Um, they, they're hoping to acquire a beer and wine li a license so that you can have your sandwich uh, and sit back along the river. And they, uh, with the success of Millie's and Keel, they are sure that this will be a great fit in the South Pier area. Um, they do talk about having some outdoor seating in the South Pier. You can have some outdoor seating, but oftentimes that requires what's referred to as an encroachment. There's the riverfront promenade, but in addition to that, there's about 12 additional feet of, that the city has for the tiebacks and stuff that are mm -hmm. in that area to hold right. up the seawall. So that's often an area that you see some of the other businesses utilize and they would need an encroachment to utilize that area. They haven't had any signage. Staff can work with them on that. Um, appears there's no uh, dumpster enclosure. We could work with them on that to see what's, uh, what they're thinking, but staff was recommending approval of the proposal. Um, usually the applicants are here. It's up to the plan commission as to whether or not you want to table this or if you'd like to. I know they were, what's surprising to me is I know they were in a hurry. I got them on here to get, get them moving. So I'm surprised that they are not here today. So uh, staff is recommending approval of, of the project. And I think it's a good one to fill this uh, vacant commercial tenant space in South Pier. Yeah, I'm comfortable moving forward as long as there's no major concerns. Um, does, does the outdoor encroachment, is, is that included in this application or is it a, a, a separate document? That they would have to come in separately. Okay. They, um, from, from an approval process, it's kind of two different procedures, sure. but it would come back to plan commission um, before it would go back to council. So they would have to apply for that okay. if they want to have that. Okay. Uh, Ryan? 
and Mayor, just to talk a little bit more about the outside encroachment. What, what they basically can't do is build like a deck where they dig into the ground, but they can put a patio in. Yeah. That's what everyone else has done back there. Okay. So it's, it's usable property and it's a, it's a good use for it. Cool. And the reason for that, Brian, because those. Yeah, the, there's, the, yeah, there's like uh, a retaining wall on, underneath the ground, like three or four feet that holds the, the seawall from springing out. Gotcha. So, but they could still put a patio, I mean, a flat patio out there. So. Sure. Everybody has everyone yeah, does, yeah. yeah. Anglers has um, a uh, uh, prohibition bistro. So uh, a couple of the other shanties out there. So That's we uh, the, encourage yeah. people to do mm -hmm. just that. Yep. Cool. No, I think this is a really good fit for this yeah. area. Yes. Uh, any motions? I'd like a motion to approve, giving them the benefit of the doubt. Let's hope nothing happened to them on their way here. Yes. <laughs> second by. Motion by Marilyn, second by Trey. Further comments? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That's approved. 4.1, June 15th is our next meeting. Is there a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Motion by Ryan, second by Marilyn. All those in favor of adjourning, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. We're adjourned. Thanks, everybody. Aye. Thank you. That'd be a nice pit down there. Yeah, it's a little bit.